It's another Saturday night in Oxnard, and welcome everybody to Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Brad Sham, Mickey Spagnola, the Cowboys' first full week of training camp practices, winding down this morning with another special teams walkthrough and a lengthy uh, stretching and yoga session for all the players, and then a padded practice this afternoon that leads into tomorrow's so-called blue-white scrimmage. More about that later, but the biggest concern for Cowboy fans right now is about the health of All-Pro guard Zach Martin, who left practice yesterday with a, a back strain. It's uh, been diagnosed after an MRI as an irritation of a disc, and so uh, they're going to keep him quiet and out of work for a few days. And with some of the other people that they have a, a little bit injured, the ranks are getting a little bit thin at guard in practice. For Coach Jason Garrett, that presents opportunities. Sometimes you can unearth some players in those situations. You're working a guy at this particular spot and hey, let's let's put him in there at guard and, and sometimes that becomes a more natural home for him. So uh, we'll have to do that with the different units, juggle a few guys. You know, we have Travis on this. Some days Travis is practicing, some days he isn't. So we have that mix going already. Zach being out, Wickman being out. It'll challenge us, but Coach Colum will do a great job getting the right, right, right group up there. A lot of times we uh, tend only to think about the playing uh, talent that's available for games, even for preseason games. But in training camp, they have to get through practice. And, and so that may, that may make for some interesting things to happen over the next few days. They'll probably have to do a little bit of shuffling. You don't want to start bringing guys in because then if you bring somebody in, you've got to cut somebody. So there might be a tackle they can move inside. There might be a center they can move uh, to guard, Redmond comes to mind. He's been playing center, but he's also uh, can play a little guard. So they'll have to shuffle things up. It sounds like with Zach Martin, at least a week uh, to have that calm down, and it's something he dealt with uh, previously. So this is nothing new, and he's handled it, and I like the way Jason tried to put uh, the seriousness of it. He goes, because you know Zach's pretty tough, right? Uh, and he doesn't complain. And for him to say, ah, the back's hurting, and then give in to go get an MRI, he goes, it's probably pretty something. I, I, I would like to tell you that some of us uh, know a little bit more than we would like to know about what happens when discs and nerves get irritated at each other, and, <laughs> and uh, it's a tough deal. And one name that hasn't even had a chance to come up yet is Connor McGovern, the rookie guard who they drafted in the third round with a pec injury in the offseason. He hasn't practiced yet. That may happen soon. And what also is going to happen soon is dreams are going to come to an end for a lot of players. We're going to talk about that on Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing. That's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. This segment is brought to you by Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. Welcome back to Oxnard. Brad Sham, Mickey Spagnola inside Cowboys Training Camp. Tomorrow is the nominal blue-white scrimmage. It really will be a more important piece for the, some of the young and backup players. And then begins the preseason, and for some of these young men, it will be the end of a dream. It'll be the last time they play football. Jamil Showers is an interesting case. He may fall into that category. Here's the background on Jamil Showers. He was the backup quarterback to Johnny Manziel at Texas A&M. Finished at A&M, graduated, transferred to Texas El Paso, signed with the Cowboys as a free agent quarterback. Remember in 2016, he was in this camp, came to compete with Dak Prescott for the third string quarterback job. They moved him to safety. He's been on the practice squad for three years. That's the max. He was out all of last year with a debilitating knee injury, and he's out here working as hard as anybody else. And why would Jamil Showers go to all that trouble? You know, I, I don't want to let the little kid in me down. Um, it's kind of the biggest thing. Um, you know, we have a, I have a kid on the way now. Um, you know, so that's also another thing. You know, trying to just provide for my family. Um, but like I said, I mean, I just I, I love football. I love to compete, and uh, I just love being out here. Tell me what your hopes are and what your expectations are from as a result of this camp. 
Uh, just being on a 53 man. I mean, that's what I've been trying to work up to, uh, you know, for the past four years, going on year five. You know, it's definitely a blessing. Um, but now I just want to make that jump, you know, onto the roster. Now, when you talk to Jamil Showers a little bit longer, you hear a very intelligent young man talk about perhaps examining a coaching career. I don't think he's got stars in his eyes about the chance to make the 53-man roster. I don't even know if he'll play very much in the preseason. But I know that the commitment and the dedication that he shows is is kind of typical of a lot of these young men who just can't give it up. Yeah, and if you think about a guy that spent all that time on the practice squad, you got to be pretty tough-minded. you got to be pretty driven, which is kind of the word of training camp mm -hmm. this year, to just go out there and practice and really never get to play. So, you know, he'll get an opportunity in that blue-white scrimmage. Uh, special teams will be very important to him. There's other guys that they're going to be looking at during that scrimmage for special teams, uh, and that's where a guy like him uh, definitely has to show up. And you mentioned 2016 when they changed him from quarterback uh, to, to safety. safety. There was a lot of people that were watching practice early that were going, well, Jamil Shower is better than Dak Prescott. Uh, and that kind of faded away real quick. And Mickey mentioned the blue-white scrimmage. We're going to tell you what to expect from that tomorrow when we come back to Inside Cowboys Training Camp. This segment was brought to you by Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep. Only at a Sleep Number store. Welcome back to Oxnard. It's inside Cowboys training camp. Brad Sham, Mickey Spagnola. Okay, tomorrow it says on the schedule, bigger than life, blue-white scrimmage. Now, we, we were both around when that was a real scrimmage, and the whole team suited up, and first-team offense played first-team defense, and right down through the depth chart, and they hit, and they tackled, and everything else. That's not going to happen tomorrow, but there will be a little more contact. They will do a kind of a dress rehearsal for a game day presentation and the end of it will be for young players what they call the blue period that will be live yeah absolutely and that'll be interesting to see to get those young guys a chance uh, to go at it to actually play football put somebody on the ground uh, Jason Garrett said yesterday they'll have a goal line period also in this practice uh, which will be live so that'll be the first time uh, we see that and this is an important time for a bunch of young guys you know I'm looking at a couple of guys uh, linebackers trying to make this team as a backup linebacker but more so on special teams we've talked talked a lot about Luke Gifford. Chris Covington's kind of got his hand up in the air, and I don't know if both of those guys can make it. So a scrimmage like this for those guys, for a guy like Jalen Jelks, uh, this is really important for those guys. Well, and at, at linebacker, I'm going to throw Kyle Caro's name into the mix because he's there. I think those three guys are fighting for time. And then you mentioned Jelks. I think one of the most intriguing things is the depth in the defensive line. Remember, we're not seeing, nor will we while we're out here in training camp, Tyrone Crawford or Demarcus Lawrence. And we won't see much of Robert Quinn, I don't think, in, in real games. But there are four rookie defensive linemen, Jelks being one of them, who I think have a chance to make the team. This is a really critical time for those guys. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, there's another guy in there with Joe Jackson. He looks like he's a guy that has a little something. But as Marinelli says, it all depends on when the pads come on. And, and he's got this little saying now about uh, the trains leaving. He, t he said Tristan Hill was at the caboose, and now he's kind of moved into the diner car. Where's the diner car? It's not a close enough to the engine. So they're expecting more out of Hill. And these young guys uh, will get opportunities they normally wouldn't get if those guys were out here practicing the entire time. And there will be a lot of young receivers who are going to get work in that uh, scrimmage portion, the live scrimmage portion of practice tomorrow. And then on into the preseason, no inside training camp tomorrow. Mickey and I will be back on Monday on Inside Cowboys Training Camp. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing. That's our thing. Sleep Number. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store. Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. And by the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. Want a tour at AT&T Stadium? For more information, call 817-892-TOUR or visit attstadium.com slash tours.